All right, hello Lincoln High School. Here we go with the Lasso 2 assignment. All right, so for this assignment, uh, we need to go ahead and go into the assignment and download these two photos. First one here is Max in his Halloween costume. Max is uh, Mrs. Toff's dog. We'll go ahead and hit the download image button. And go ahead and click save. I already got it saved there. Then we'll do the same thing with this picture of Donner Lake. Hit the download button. Go ahead and save it. Uh, remember to click on the download picture button. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go over into Photoshop. Um, and this time though, instead of creating a new document, we're gonna go ahead and open up the picture of Max. Just go ahead and go to File, Open. All right, and so then with this picture, uh, we wanna go ahead and we wanna cut out Max um, and get rid of the background. So we have just Max. So first thing we need to do is we need to unlock our background layer here so we can work with it. So we'll go ahead and hit the lock button right there to unlock it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll use the magnetic lasso tool again, just like we did for the last assignment to go ahead and select max. Now remember, as you do this, you may have to do a fair amount of clicking to get it to go right where I want it to. And if you notice there, I just grabbed his ear. It wasn't what I wanted to do. It's picking up that color transition between his ear and his body. So again, if I hit the backspace key, I can force it to go back and then I can go ahead and pick a new anchor point. Right, anytime I click, that'll put in an anchor point, force the selection to go right there. So I'm gonna just do the best I can to real quickly kind of select them out so we don't use up too much time doing this. You're probably gonna wanna spend a little bit more time on your own project to get it nice and perfect. Uh, see, it really has a problem right here with his shadow. I'm just going to grab the shadow. What the heck? Again, when the color values are really close to each other, this tool is going to have kind of a hard time. So you have to do extra clicks in those areas to kind of force it to go where you want it to go. It's having some trouble here around his feet. some trouble here around his mouth again there we go and then when we get back to the beginning again our cursor changes to show that circle that means we've reached the end point or the beginning point click there we have our selection all right now again we wanted to delete everything but max so what we're gonna go ahead and do is go select up here at the top and go down to inverse that selects everything on the page other than max uh, and then we can go ahead and hit the delete key and that gets rid of everything but max. Uh, we want to go ahead and add a little bit of a feather to this just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to go down to modify and choose feather. So again, select, modify, and then choose feather. And I think we're just going to feather it like two pixels. Hit OK. I'll hit the delete key again. And you can see that just put a nice little feather around max. And I'll go up to select and choose deselect. And there we go. Now we got max all cut out and ready to go. All right, now I want to put max on a new background here. So this time I will go up to file and we'll go down to place embedded. And I'll grab that image of Donner Lake and I'll go ahead and place it here. All right, I'll go ahead and use the move tool and enlarge it until it fills up the space. All right, I think I want a little bit more of the shore here. It's pretty good. Hit the enter key when I got it where I like it. Now then of course we want max to be on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my max layer, drag them up to the top layer. 
All right, now I kind of want to just shrink Max down a little bit and put him over here in the snow. So there we go. Now he's blending pretty nicely. All right, and we're going to make this kind of a um, holiday card. So a Halloween slash Christmas card all in one. So we'll go down here to the text tool and we'll add some text. Say, happy holidays. I don't know if I spelled that right. Check, let's see. All right, only one L. Thought something looked a little off. Happy holidays. And I'll pick a different color, maybe like a red color. Top layer. Large it, move it around to a good spot here. All right. And lastly, we'll probably add some layer styles here. Uh, to Max, I want to add kind of a glow, so I'm going to double click on Max. Uh, we'll go with the outer glow here, and we'll adjust that. So he's kind of glowing there in the, in the shore. All right, kind of like the way that looks. Uh, let's see, I'll hit OK with that. Um, background maybe looks a little dark. So I could probably even have fixed that a little bit by going up to Layer and going down to Adjustments. And maybe just cranking up the exposure a little bit. Or I could bring the exposure down on max. Let's see. But that's getting more advanced. So don't worry about that. So we got max. We got the background. Um, let's add some layer styles to the happy holidays here. So maybe a little drop shadow might be an option. Ooh, don't like that angle. Let's do a different angle. All right. Just help give it a little separation. Or we can even do probably an outer glow here. That would work pretty well too. Um, yeah. Outer glow or a drop shadow. Or both. Both looks pretty good. Um, I could bevel my letters if I wanted to be even really fancy. All right. Hit OK. That looks pretty good. And that is it for this lesson. It's as easy as that. All right. And we were ready to save it and turn in. We go ahead and go up to File, Save As. Uh, remember, we're going to change it to a JPEG image, not JPEG 2000, not JPEG stereo, but just regular JPEG. Uh, give it a new name. This is Lasso 2 Complete. And go ahead and save it. Uh, quality 10 should be good. Hit OK. And turn that into Photoshop. So that's it. That is easy as that. Good luck.